Hello guys, welcome back. So to persist the selected language, I am going to uh, use the shared preferences package and I will provide a link in the video description. So basically you can just uh, copy and paste this uh, package here and click on this uh, get packages. Uh, so I, I already did that part and uh, what I'm going to do is right now create some constants for the language codes. So language codes const string English and for the English we have en. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is create uh, for each, if you remember from the last video, we use we hard coded this value I mean the language is code uh, so it is better it's a good practice to create some constants values and use it in in your entire app so constant a string and the other part should be for C and for that we have F A and uh, for the rest for the H E or Hindi and Arabic let me change this one to Arabic and Hindi. Okay, so we have our constants. So let me bring this constants here for the this part. We have the English. For this one, we have the Farsi, and we have Arabic. The last part we have Hindi, Hindi language. Okay, and uh, here I'm going to put the English as the default. Okay, so right now uh, to store or to persist the language inside the shared preferences, I'm going to create a future which returns a local and I'll call it as set local basically this will uh, kind of accept uh, a language code and uh, it will persist the language inside the shared preferences so I'm going to create an instance of shared preferences and I'll call it as prefs so basically we are waiting for the instance of uh, shared preferences that get instance and once we got the instance what we can do is to do something like uh, prefs dot uh, set string and the value let me just create another constant and this is uh, uh, call, call of a kind of language code language code itself so constant string uh, I'll call it as language code and I will provide it as language code and here we can use that constant language code here this one and the value is the language code that language code that we got Okay, and uh, this set is uh, set a string is a, a, a future. We need to await for that. And once we have this, so what we can do is right now create another. I mean a, a local method here, and return. So I'll call a method called local, and this will accept the language code and returns us the, the local and after that we are just returning back okay so this method will returns of returns of uh, return sorry it returns us the local and I'll call it as local and will accept string language code okay so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this uh, code here and uh, I am going to put it inside this method and before this we don't need this has some spelling mistakes language code okay uh, 
uh, we have everything configured here just we need to return this temp okay so right now what we did is just uh, setting the uh, user selected language inside the shared preferences and also get the language so we are basically returning it so we don't need to await but basically we need to return it okay and for that we can right now just copy this uh, method and we can get rid of this the whole what we can say this uh, switch and then we can directly put uh, this temp equal to that set local method and put the language dot language code but as this set local is a future we can just put it as a sync and also here a sync okay a wait sorry and basically uh, it's uh, first of all it it calls the set method set local and we are passing the language code it sets the local inside the shared preferences and also returns back the local to us so what we can uh, just get we are getting here is this temp and we are passing it to inside the set local method in our main so we are setting the language okay we have uh, basically this uh, flutter app right now and inside this flutter app so we need to first whenever we launch our application first of all we need to just uh, get the local from the shared preferences and set it to this and uh, to do that what we can do is and to use did uh, change dependencies and inside that we can use uh, a method called get local and this get local will return something with return local to do it first of all we need to create this local and i'm going to back to this language localization constants and this is also a future uh, i'm just going to copy this code i'm sorry mostly i do not copy but i want to just do it fast so get uh, local and uh, also this get local it doesn't need any parameter so we are basically getting the uh, so what we can do is just wait for it a string uh, language code is equal to this prefs dot get a string this time and for that we can pass the language language underscore code and let me check if it is the same sorry and we are passing this one if this is a null what we can say is we use en as our default language and then right now we can call again this local local method and then pass this uh, language code to it okay so we are getting the uh, stored language inside the shared preferences and if it is null for the first time then we are passing the language code as en and not en let me do it like this english okay so uh, so right now we can use this method inside our uh, main page and we have this method let me uh, sorry bring the localization constants and then what we can do as it is a future uh, so we we are getting the local and then oh, this should be the local and what we can do is right now to call uh, on set not set local call set state and we can say this dot local is equal to the local that we got from the get local method okay so basically right now we are getting the local for the first time in our main application in our in the inside sorry inside our main file and what we can do here uh, 
to the first time it might be because this is a future and it takes time to load so what we can do just uh, I'll, I'm going to cut this part and put an if condition here if uh, this uh, local is equal to equal to null and then what we can do is just I'm, I'm returning a container and this container will have a child but what you can do as you want just for the testing purpose I'm going to add this one this container will have a child uh, the ch child is a uh, center and this center will have another a child and this child is a circular progress indicator okay let me put a uh, semicolon here and store but right now we are getting this uh, kind of uh, uh, just circular indicator and the else part if we have the local in the else part what we can do uh, for the else we are just returning that material app okay so let me restart the app and let's see the actual functionalities okay so um, if I currently just select Arabic language and suppose if I restart it it should still remain the same as Arabic it is and if I change it to suppose Hindi language and restart it it should be in Hindi and as you can see it is persisted so this is uh, this is it guys and uh, hopefully we have accomplished what we plan to uh, but uh, what I am going to do is just stop the video and I am going to translate these values and also um, put the uh, something inside the about page you can see that these are not translated yet I'm going to translate it but we are done and uh, thank you for watching uh, just I'm going to pause the video and add those translation and after that this video is completely done and uh, we are uh, just we accomplished what we intended to do so I've added the, this translation files and also if I navigate right now into the uh, about page you can see that I've added this um, inside the about page I have added this uh, text about as I told you earlier that we have this about part which is a long text as just I wanted to show you that we can use long text translations as well and uh, uh, one thing else that I've done is just translating everything and also inside the settings page what I did is just uh, I used this uh, uh, drop down here as well inside the settings that show that we are able and basically this is a custom drop down that we built just copied and pasted it and also we have this uh, change language I just wanted to show you that from here also we are able to change the language and if I change it to Hindi and back to English navigate back to the home page we can see that everything is translated into the selected language so this is it guys thank you for watching i know it is uh, it was a little bit lengthy and uh, thank you for being with me if this video was helpful please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button i'm planning to just uh, upload a new series on the flatter and so you'll be notified about that thank you bye